Um, unless there are children watching, I don't think this is even necessary. This is gonna be a six-parter, and, uh, <laughs> this is gonna be fucking fun. <sighs> Man, my video on Unseen Perfidy will never be made. I have voices in my head, they counsel me, they understand, they talk to me. Hey folks, I'm John Henry, Logenius.net. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, we are going to talk today about Gamergate. Um, I have been watching this whole thing kind of develop since it, since it first started, and I've been keeping my mouth shut about it. I haven't said a word about it the whole time that it's been happening. Well, geez, I wonder why. Isn't the fact that if you were to open your mouth against Gamergate, the only thing that you would say is something very, very fucking stupid? But I've been watching, I've been reading the articles and keeping up and trying to stay informed about what's going on, you know. Keyword, informed. Um, fuck these people. Fuck these people that are throwing around this hashtag and trying to recover something out of this. This whole deal started with a guy being a jerk to his ex-girlfriend. She, he sicked the internet on her because she dumped him or whatever. He thought she cheated on him, some crap. I didn't even bother paying attention after, after I got that detail. This pretty much just shows on how informed you are. You just literally flat out and say that you didn't really care about it. But, you know, you're informed. Yeah, uh, let's see. Last time I checked, it wasn't about... You know, being getting getting all fucking jealous over a girl. It was about Zoe Quinn, who admittedly, yes, admittedly cheated on her boyfriend on her Facebook page, and it shows on how corrupt the gaming the gaming ethics has become. People like Zoe Quinn are getting a fucking free pass just because of her having a why it happened because he was motivated to make it happen that's why it happened and then it's this hashtag people are, are you know outing people's personal identities and people are stalking people and making threats of rape and you know public appearances are being canceled and all this other shit and only gamergate is the cause of this shit not trolls on the fucking internet gamergate and it's all centered around this tag you don't have to like it you don't have to like it. I don't care about, well, that's not what it was when it started. That is what it was when it started. The that's stupid. You're stupid. Stop being stupid. The problem is, is you've tried to come along and seize that label. So that then you can turn around and say, oh, it's not about that. And that's, it's dishonest. It's manipulative as shit. And it is, just, in itself, it's an expression of your attempts to control other human beings around you. It our desire to control other human beings. I don't even know how to respond to that. I mean, like, wow, wow, this is plain dishonesty at its maximum. I mean, holy shit, dude. You're going full Macintosh. And particularly women. This whole argument, this whole set of arguments has been about a disingenuous and manipulative attempt to turn a story about a guy being a dick in an industry that is dickish to female. Because the gaming industry is known to be anti-female, right? Right? Is that what you're saying? ...and treats them badly, does not pay them equitably, does not treat them equitably, condescends to them, patronizes to them. On what fucking proof, what fucking proof do you have or any amount of evidence do you have that even suggests that the game industry is just being fucking dickish towards women? And don't even get me started with Anita Sarkeesian because Anita Sarkeesian, she's not being targeted because of her gender. She's being targeted for whatever the fuck she's saying. She's misrepresenting gamers as a whole. She's a fucking imbecile. 
and you don't want to talk about that because you don't want to talk about the bigger issues. So you make up, oh, well, it's about journalistic integrity, on and on and on. Yes, it's more important to care about this small, special minority's feelings. Nonsense. So the first argument that I'm hearing is, oh, well, these people are doing all this good stuff and, and this is a community and, and we're coming together for common cause. Bullshit. The common cause you're coming together is to try to distract attention from what this whole story is really about. Holy fuck is this wrong! Yes, please explain what we are doing within our own fucking community. Yes, you're a big fucking expert in this, aren't you, big boy? The whole reason that you're coming together is that you're trying to legitimize this hashtag and this movement that has grown around this Gamergate word in order to distract from the fact that where it started was a bunch of people trying to support a guy who was harassing and being aggressive towards his girlfriend or ex-girlfriend or whatever she She admitted that she cheated on him. It was on her fucking Facebook page. I don't know how much clearer that could get was at the time so the whole thing started as let's defend this guy let's go flame the shit out of his ex-girlfriend and let's go harass and attack any females that step up in the conversation and say no she's right this is bullshit this is sexist bullshit you're trying to push us around and you have to stop this is just getting dumber and dumber and dumber and so what do you do? You escalate and you escalate and you attack people where they live and you attack their employers and you make it hard for other people to be around them. You make it dangerous for them to be out in the world and saying the things that they're saying because you don't want them said. That is what Gamergate is about. Full stop. That is where it begins and ends. This crap of, oh, well, we're raising money for charity with the Gamergate anti-bullying game. No, bullshit. You know, I doubt that even if I provide lots and lots of videos showing support of women under the name of Gamergate, you know, under if, if I saw show you videos of people, you know, starting charity drives under the name of Gamergate, you're just going to slap it away and say, no, Gamergate, it's just a, full of a bunch of sexist bigots who just want to attack Zoe Quinn. Yeah. You know so much about Gamergate. Fuck you. Fuck you with a 10 foot ruler. You're embarrassing yourself and you're embarrassing the people that you're trying to raise money for. You're trying to control the narrative if you really felt so generous and so concerned about bullying and about helping to fund and, and to uh, you know uh, facilitate anti-bullying programming you would have created a fundraiser without the tag why do we have to we already proven that Gabergate is all about ethics and journalism and we're against bullying but you just insist that we're just a bunch of fucking liars who's being dishonest me or you what you will care about is getting attention to yourself and you care about changing the narrative so that when people hear Gamergate, the first thing that they think is, oh, that's about that woman that got harassed. Because that's what you don't want people to think. This is something that Illuminati conspiracists would say. That's the phrase you don't want in people's heads because you don't want to think about, maybe I'm one of the people that's harassing them. You don't want to look yourself in the eye and admit that maybe you're part of the problem. So let's change the problem. Dude, you're part of the problem. You're a fucking cancer towards anyone who is rational. I mean, seriously, you're supposed to do at least a little bit of research before you actually go after Gamergate. And instead, what do you did? You straw man a living hell out of Gamergate. I mean, holy fucking shit. I met some really bad people. Garrett Robinson, Peter Coffin, um, Unseen Perfetti, Sequester Zone, Animal Vector 13, uh, Big Lundy, oh, what's his name, Jenny Mc, Mc, McVonable, whatever her name is, that girl who um, apparently made a video on the Amazing Atheist, 
And Sake Roar. Let's not forget about that redhead bitch. All those people have at least done a little bit of research. You have it. You have stuck your head so far in your ass that you can actually hear the freaking ocean. John Henry, that's your name, right? I'm going to be making a lot more videos on this fucking asshole. Until then, I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace, the game out. If you enjoy watching this video, click on the like button. Subscribe to this channel for more videos. And, of course, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and ugh, Google+. We all know Google+, fucking sucks.